Alrighty, so I wanted to use the goddess team with uh, with Roxy next. I, I actually really wanted to use uh, the Sins team, but because geared PvP right now has a rule where if you attack during your turn, you gain a 30% a damage taken um, debuff, I really don't want to deal with that. So I figured this would be the best option for geared PvP just because we can cleanse at the end of the turn. I do have a really nice CC on my goddess team and because Roxy has definitely got higher CC than like Elat or Tristan for example, um, I've uh, I've got even more CC in that regard. So um, let me maybe go for something like this. I hate to debuff last, I really do, but... There's not really a whole lot I can do because of this rule. He doesn't have a cleanse on his team. He's using more of like an aggressive team, uh, which might be really good for me. I tried to use um, Levi before I used Arthur in the last video that I put out. And going for like a really aggressive team and not having a way to cleanse off those damage taken increases um, is really troublesome. So we do actually get another cleanse, which is really nice. I could potentially double AoE... Not really sure that that's a great idea. Nah, we can use this one. Go for like a big single target. Um, one of my big issues is that Roxy increases your max HP depending on the amount of debuffs on the enemy. So I do have green Saria link on Liz. Normally you would obviously want to run the, uh, whatchamacallit, um, Tarmiel link on her. But I don't really have the luxury for that. Why did he not gain the attack or the damage increases. When a hero uses a skill to damage enemies, or to deal damage to enemies during their allies' turn, I don't understand. Why did he not? He didn't take anything. Bruh. Wait, 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 wait. I maybe should have stunned, but we'll see. Mayel is starting to fall off, understandably so. Ult gauge check a little bit with the Roxy at the end of the turn. Ooh, good damage. See, we take, we get the damage dealt increase. Why did he not get the damage dealt increase? Please tell me that. Prevents ultimate move gauge from being filled by three or more orbs. I'm legit not, <laughs> I'm legit not understanding what, why. Um... Is it because of Arthur in the back? I can't remember the full passive for Arthur. I don't know what happened there. Either he just had really bad cards in hand or he like timed out connection wise. That was, I he could have had me there for sure. Ugh, weird. If you're new to the channel, by the way, subscribe. Alrighty, ooh, okay. Is this the same guy? I don't think it's the same guy. Another human team, though. I think in... So, we need to, to try to play into... Actually, it's not that bad. Because this um, this play right here actually puts on the same amount of debuffs that I would get if I was using the Liz card for the green Saria link anyway. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use this again. Um, depending on what we draw next turn, I could... I could maybe throw out the Liz card instead. So, we'll see. A little bit of damage there. We cleanse off the damage taken increase, which is good. Um, okay, we have one of these, which is nice. I could, mm, I could cleanse, but I could go for big damage instead. I'm not sure that that's the best call. I have her on HP defense right now because I figured, ooh, he's got debuff immunity as well. Mm. That might be a problem. Okay, let's go for this. This won't get rid of my stacks. And then a level 2 AoE. See how... Oh, he has Tarmiel Link on. Ooh, that was good damage, but... AoE. Ah. Ah. Okay, well, he did lose... Why did he lose... Why did he lose ultimate move cage? 
what am I? I should have. I'm dumb. <laughs> I'm really dumb. I should have just went for a different character anyway, so that way I could ult drained. But oh, because of her passive, I'm so dumb, man. He had three or more ultimate move gauge within the first two turns, so I take take it off. Ooh, no crits right there is huge. Ah, oh, fantastic. He has the damage taken increase on, so let's just go for the bond here. Uh, let me do the stun, I guess. That might be a bad call, but we'll see. We'll see about it. I could have potentially moved or merged for a the ultimate with her, maybe, but kills. Nice. Good crit. Um, That's going to ult drain a little bit, which is nice. The Old Rain is actually super good against Escanor, because Escanor is the last person you want to get max ultimate move gauge from. Just because of the um, the debuff immunity, it goes so hard. Okay, so we only have one stack, so the Liz cards aren't going to be the most useful right now. It's probably going to just go ahead and kill off my Margaret, if I had to guess. He is. Okay, that was a lot of damage. Ooh, okay, she's actually critting for quite a bit. Mm. Uh, let's go for the Roxy. Um, that gets me my ultimate. We'll go for both ultimates, because why wouldn't we? He probably, at this point, will have... Oh, if this lands on... Mm. If this lands on Escanor, which it does... We're going to disable ourselves because of the AoE. That's a bit unfortunate. Um, it should actually still do some pretty good damage, though. I think. Uh, probably not, actually. Plus, I mean, her ultimate's only 1-6 anyway. Her ultimate's actually pretty lackluster. Uh, Escanor's kind of a monster, so this is going to be tough. Holy. Okay. He was disabled, so I'm actually kind of surprised with that play. Um, realistically, I would love if I could kill Arthur with this and then stun because he won't have ultimate move gauge anymore. Oh, well, it doesn't take place until the end of the turn anyway. Oh, I'm going to disable myself because of this. Ah, that's... Him having Tarmia Link on really sucks. I guess technically I should have went for the Roxy card there. Ooh, okay. Pretty decent damage, though. Damage taken increase, though. He's gonna bonk the crap out of her. She is dead, though. Ooh. Well. That is, uh, that is definitely something that you have to worry about. He... Okay. I'm disabled, so it doesn't matter too much, but... Uh, yeah. Unfortunate. We still stun because of the passive? No way. <laughs> I hate Escanor so much. I hate that man. Okay. There's nothing I can do. It's unfortunate. Yeah. I'm dead. I cannot believe that just happened. <laughs> Roxy might be the best character in the game. You guys are sleeping on the Roxy. She's obviously insane. Uh, she's obviously crazy. Crazy, insane woman. <laughs> I can't believe that. Uh... Alrighty, we have another Angel Team here. I feel like Angel Team against Angel Team is going to be pretty rough. Uh, good merge. Um. Oh, God. Slap the mic there. Let's do this, I guess. Uh, I'm mainly using that card for the debuff. 
Okay, pretty decent damage there. It's unfortunate that I'm not going to have any way to remove the revive stack, though. So that's going to be really bad. But we'll see how it goes. Ooh, another good single target, though. I think maybe we try to go for the Mael ultimate. Okay, he's pushing for his... Margaret's ultimate, actually, which is kind of uh, kind of unexpected a little bit. Okay, purging that off into nothing else. Okay, um, I actually do doubt that I'm going to be able to kill. The fact that she's the one with the ultimate, though, means that if I do end up stunning... Does this... I forget if this works where I pop the revive. Does it stun after? No, but we do take off ultimate move gauge, which is insane. Okay. Uh, I do have damage taken increase, though. The my old ultimate would go crazy here if I could actually get it off. I'm assuming he's attacking into a merge. I'll be honest, merging is probably not the play here, my guy. Okay. Cleanse into... Um, okay, an attack. I think... He... Dude, I don't even have the debuffs on anymore, right? So he's not going to remove my ultimate move gauge? Yeah. Okay. I don't know why you wouldn't try to attack with your Mael or anything there. Kind of odd. Gotta, gotta be honest with you. A little bit weird, Chief. A little bit weird. Maybe should have went for the, the Liz AoE as my last card, but... This actually might not kill because he's got a lot of damage reduction on. We'll see. Okay, we do pop Rez. Dude, we... Oh my god, Mael, you fool! Dude, Mael actually dropped off so hard. It's insane. I guess I should have, like, guaranteed, like, with the Liz there anyway, but man. Oh, what what a character, man. He has... He used to be, like, the craziest, craziest unit, man. <laughs> it's so crazy how much he's fallen off. Like, I mean, he's still good, don't get me wrong, but... Ooh, really nice merge there. Doesn't kill me. That's great. Uh, he doesn't have 6-6 six, six Margaret either. A fellow non-6-6 six, six Margaret haver. I love to see it. Uh, let's go for... Ah, oh, that's going to disable us, so I can't do it like that. Um... I don't know that I'm gonna actually be able to pop res or yeah, pop the res here. So, oh man, one six Liz, kind of cringe. I'll be honest with you. Okay, we kill the Mael. Would it have been better to stun the Liz? Probably. He finally does enough damage to kill, and I, <laughs> man, I don't, I can, I, I just don't know with this man. Um. We have AoEs, but we don't have stacks to really benefit from it, unfortunately. Uh, ooh, her passive actually does work with humans, though, so I could use the Mael card into a single target into a level 2. If he doesn't kill somebody off here, though, which I assume he does. Stun? Okay, he doesn't kill me. I assume he's got the third, the last card here. Oh, he purifies. Okay. I've got a double attack with Roxy, though. Hmm. Ah, oh, that's so bad. Okay, well, um... I, I can't really do anything else. Maybe I should have went for Tristan here to cut down on his cards used. Hmm. That, that level one power strike card is just really bad. Super surprised that the, uh, oh, yeah, damn, I really should have went for Tristan there. Oh, unfortunate. Okay, it's fine, though. Um, we have max stacks at this point, so we might be able to cook. I kind of doubt it, but maybe. We have some Mael cards in hand, but he's incredibly low. 
Okay, kills off the Mayo. AoE here is probably going to kill Roxy with that stack on. Stuns me. No. No stun. I... Ooh, I actually might be in an okay position here. Ah, I'm not. Unless this kills both of those units, because they both have, like, a way to cleanse. Mm. Yeah. I mean, his, his ultimate's not, like, super big, like, super high. So maybe if he cleanses off, I can I can take it. Oh, I forgot we drained, dude. I'm just not I'm just not in the right headspace for this team. I forget that I'm I'm removing ultimates and everything. Which I mean I do I do have a lot of cards blacked out on Liz, so that's at least good. God, I'm all over the place. Okay, he does cleanse, and then single target. Okay, he does single target, but I live that. Um, I really want to get rid of the Liz here. I can't double attack into his Liz, so we're going to do this. That's going to kill off the uh, the Margaret. Please tell me that kills off the... Oh, my God. Yikes! Oh my god! I can't believe this. The damage is is abysmal. I mean, she's on HP defense, but come on, man! Come on, man! He's gonna stun me now. God. AOE actually kills me. I hate this game. <laughs> Obviously, there were misplays in that, but God, I hate this game. All right, dude, it's just angels everywhere. Angels are the only thing anybody's playing right now. It's crazy. Um, 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 um. Let's go for this play, like normal. This is a bot, so it doesn't really matter too much. Just need to make sure I cleanse off these damage takens. Okay, actually some pretty good damage there, though. Mael took a de decent amount, as well as Margaret. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I th think in this scenario we just go triple AOE because Margaret or uh, Liz will have max stacks. Cleanses first, so the damage taken increases might actually be pretty useful here. Unfortunately, I'll have damage taken increases after my turn though. Dude, okay, he's doing so much damage. That is not cool. I don't like that. Okay, so let's go for triple AoE. We'll put some debuffs on. We'll become a little tankier. I uh, don't think this is going to kill Margaret. Kind of close-ish, but she would have revived anyway. Now we all have damage taken increases. I hate this rule, man. This rule is not it. Hmm. AoE here. Good damage. Pops a res. Okay, and that's it. Okay, I can I can live with that, I think. Do this. Throw some debuffs on. Hopefully this will pop res. I think it will. Yeah, and then we get rid of the Margaret. My L's super low. And he should start to fall off a bit now that she's gone. We drain some ultimate, even though he merged there, which is great. Ragnarok Bond in the back. I, I don't really see that anymore, so that's kind of cool. Uh, we do have a cleanse for this next turn. Mm. I think we're kind of chilling here. I think we're I think we're in a good spot. Does kill my Margaret off, so no cleanse actually. Um, I'm tempted to merge into big AoE. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Because this hopefully will pop res on the Mael. Do some good damage to the Bond. Okay, not 
I was kind of hoping it would kill Bond, but I really can't complain too much. We do kill off the Mael, which is good. Um, he's really low. Unfortunately, because he put on the Dissolve, I don't get my ultimates. Using another Dissolve, so I think I'll be fine. Stuns my Mael here. Bit unfortunate. No, he didn't have max stacks. Okay. He's just really been neglecting the Liz there. That's fine. Let's go for this into this. I don't want to disable myself, so we're just going to do something like this. Kill off the Bond. Nice. Little bit of damage here with the Roxy. Obviously, it's not going to be impressive at all because it's a level 1. 75. I'm used to it doing like 50k, so it's something. Okay, and we actually kill with the crit there, so that actually kind of works out. Okay, not too bad. Let me buy one more ticket. Alright. Okay, Sin's team. Very low CC, though, for a Sin's team, so... I'm going to assume this isn't anything crazy. Uh, hmm. I'm actually not 100% sure how to play this. I'm going to go for this to try to kill Lost Vein off. Might be a big mistake here, though, because if he lives, which is very possible... Um, I think we've got a chance. Okay, we killed the Lost Vein, which is really good. That would have been really bad. We do have the damage taken increases on ourselves, though, which might be a little bit of an issue with the Bond, but we might be okay. We can double AoE, maybe, into a cleanse this turn. Oof, no Tarmiel link on her is, is going to bite us here, I think. Okay, hitting into the Mael here. Okay, not terrible. Let's go for double AoE into this cleanse, so that way we can kind of prep for next turn. Because now that he has stance up, I'm going to be in a bit of a situation where I can't really do too much. Ooh, okay, good damage. The Bond is already kind of low. We cleanse. We're chilling a little bit. We're back up to full HP with the Liz. We can stun out of the stance immediately. Uh, I, ooh, I really want to go for that level three. <laughs> I really want to go for that level three. And because I think I really want to, I shall. I There's no reason for me not to. Um, I think I'm even going to go aggressive with it and we're going to use this instead of the cleanse. She's on HP defense. I'm very confident that I killed these two. Not 100% sure on the Deanne, but even then I won't disable myself and I can just stun her out next turn. Oh, so beautiful. God, dude, that is the one thing. Like, I'm not a huge fan of the Goddess team right now just because it's got so low variety. But those level 3 Liz AoEs, man, they go so crazy. It's, God, it's beautiful. All right, well, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> we'll probably go back down to geared PvP if I had to guess to mess around with the Sins team because I think this rule is going to be really bad for the Sins team, but we'll see. Um, so that's pretty much it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys have a great holiday that's coming up. Obviously Christmas is just around the corner. Um, and uh, enjoy the rest of your week. So subscribe. I will see you guys tomorrow.